Hi, I'm from Harmony School. My experiment is called the iodine clock reaction. It demonstrates the effects of different circumstances on the rate of a chemical reaction. The materials needed for this project are 12 beakers of 100 milliliters or more, three different sizes of graduated cylinders, a hot plate, some ice, and a thermometer to control temperature, and a stopwatch. The reactants of the reaction are potassium iodate, distilled water, sodium bisulfate, and starch. The reaction happens in three parts. The first part is the one that determines how long the reaction takes. In the first step, the iodate reacts with sodium sulfate to form iodide, hydrogen sulfate, and hydrogen. This normally takes about six seconds depending on the circumstances. The iodate then reacts with the iodide and hydrogen to form iodine and water. The iodine then uses up the remaining sodium sulfate to form iodide again. The iodide combines with the remaining iodine to form a triiodide which combines with the starch to form a blue compound. First, I'll test the effect of a change in temperature on the reactant. Increasing the temperature of the system increases the reaction speed whereas decreasing the temperature slows down the reaction speed because the molecules move slower and take longer to collide and react. Next, I'm going to change the concentration of the potassium iodate. Doubling the amount of potassium iodate speeds up the reaction, while putting half the amount of potassium iodate slows down the reaction's time because it takes longer for the needed amount of collisions between the reactant's molecules to form the required amount of iodide for the second part of the reaction. Lastly, I will test the effect of a catalyst on the reaction rate. In this case, sulfuric acid increases the speed of the reaction by almost four times because it instantly releases hydrogen into the system, therefore bypassing the first slow step. Thanks for watching Harmony Schools.